You've created the perfect lookup function and it's working like a charm. But then you realize that your lookup table actually has multiple rows that should be matching. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP have a big limitation. They only return the first match from the lookup table. If you need to get multiple matches from your lookup function, a different approach is needed. If you've been watching my videos, you may know that I am a huge fan of dynamic array functions. One of my favorites is filter, and it's the star of the show if you need to look up values and return multiple matches. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. No matter what kind of spreadsheet you have, I'm sure it could use a little updating. That's why I created the Spreadsheet Tune-Up, a free training just for you. In five short videos, I'll teach you the first steps you need to optimize any spreadsheet. Here I have a table with a category and then multiple methods for each category. And I have set up over here a drop down list of all the categories from that table. And what I want to happen is every time I change this category, I want the list of methods to show up here. Right now I have a lookup function set up. You can see it's X lookup and it is look, the lookup value is this category. The lookup array is the category column in this methods um, table. And then the return array or what is going to be what you get from this function is in the method column. But because it's a lookup function, it's only returning the very first value. So if I go back to chromatography, you can see that instead of getting gas ion and liquid chromatography, it's only returning the first one, gas chromatography. So instead of a lookup function, I'm just going to delete that and use the filter function. So here's the arguments. The first one is array. And while it doesn't say return array, you can think of it like the return array um, argument in the XLOOKUP function. So it's what do we want to get? We want to get this method column. So I'm going to select the method column. If you use, if your data is set up as an Excel table, you'll be able to use these structured references, which just makes it so much easier to read. Um, if you need more info about Excel tables, check out my free training. The link is in the description. The next argument is include, which answers the question, which rows do we want to include? Because we don't want to return all of the values for method. We only want the ones where this value in the category um, cell is equal to the category column. So it'll match that up. So if you have chromatography here, it's only going to grab the results from the methods column if, the chrom if this category is equal to chromatography. And then the last argument is what to do if it's empty. If you don't include anything here, it may return an error. So we're just going to put two double quotes in a row and that will um, just return a blank space and then close the parentheses and it works perfectly. It's a spilled array. So you can see that it grabs all three of the results from the chromatography. And then when I modify, this um, category cell, it automatically grabs all of the matching results. And since this is a dynamic array, we can do so many things with this result. You can just wrap it in, let's say the sort function, and that will sort the results al alphabetically. Ta-da! You could use the take function, which I have a whole video about how to use the take function, but let's say you only wanted the first five results. You could just do that. Another cool function we can use with the filter function is called text join. And I'm just gonna add it to the front of the filter. The first argument is delimiter, which means how do you wanna separate these results? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it be a comma space because I want it to be like a list. The next argument is whether you want to include or ignore empty cells. I always ignore them. And then the last argument is just what text do you want to combine? So we're going to put the results of that filter, which is this dynamic array into that argument and then close it and we're done. Now this is just a list of all the methods that match this category. Um, it can get kind of crazy because some of them are really, really long lists. Um, if you want more info about this and about how uh, you can do this with an entire table, 
you can check out my video. It's called something like combine multiple rows into one row where I'm essentially doing a lookup um, on an entire table. It's really that simple. I'm curious, do you ever need to return multiple matches from a lookup function? Do you have any questions about this approach? I'd love to talk to you in the comment section.